Welcome to our next section, Improving the Brace. We've learned to brace, we've learned to roll. You're now an intermediate or an advanced boater as far as the rolling and bracing goes, and the next skill, Improving the Brace, is going to be awesome. Let's get down to business. Okay. Step one. Since you know how to roll now, we can improve our brace, we can really work on our brace, and we don't even have to worry about whether the brace fails. If you tip back in the water trying a more advanced brace, what's going to happen? Phase four, set up, roll back up, get a little roll practice in the boot. Okay, a couple things that goes with improving your brace. Number one, you want to have the reaction of bracing when you lose your balance. There's two kinds of people out there. Those that react with a brace when they're losing their balance, boom, and those that go like this when they're losing their balance, and set up for the roll. Your objective, of course, is to stay right side up whenever possible. So to improve your reaction time and have the brace be the first thing you think of when you're losing your balance, you're going to do a couple things. Number one, you're going to go ahead and just repeat the brace back and forth, back and forth, right and left. Each time, of course, trying to make your technique as perfect as possible, keeping your head down and back. But your goal is just to get, get the, the muscle memory in there by going back and forth and hitting your brace. All right. Once you've got that down and you can go back and forth and your technique is good enough that you're not tipping in the water, your next goal is to learn how to do a sustained brace. A sustained brace basically means that no matter how long you stay in that brace position, you can keep yourself right side up. Now your paddle does not have enough flotation to just keep yourself above the water with the paddle on the water. You have to do something to keep the paddle on the surface. That's called a sculling brace. A sculling brace is where you move the paddle back and forth in a sculling motion so that when you move the paddle, the leading edge is pointed upwards. So when you move it, it sculls or flies up to the surface. And then when you go the other direction, you switch so the leading edge is again rising and again it sculls to the surface backwards. By moving the paddle back and forth in a sculling motion, you're preventing the paddle from sinking. The paddle will sink if you don't move it in a sculling brace. You know why? Because it doesn't have enough flotation to hold you. So the sculling position, what that does for you, is allows you to stay in that position as long as you need to. More importantly though, it gives you way more stability and way more purchase on the water than it would if you just held the paddle horizontal and braced off the water. After you've learned the sculling brace and you've got that motion down, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to do the brace deeper and deeper in the water, all the way to the point that your boat tips over on you. Our goal here is to make the brace and the roll come together as one. In other words, there's no reason that you need to think of the brace and the roll as two different skills. Both of them achieve the same goal. That is to get or keep your boat right side up. So go ahead and do a brace. Then do a brace like the phase two position where you let the boat tip over on you a little bit and roll up. Now what is that? That's a roll. Now let's go in between the two. Do a brace, let the, let the boat tip on top of you. Phase two, do a hip snap off of you. Finish in a sculling position. Very cool. Basically, what we've done is we've eliminated the roll and we've eliminated the brace. We've combined them into one. That's your first step to improving the roll, which of course is your next section. After you brace, you don't want to just be laying on the back deck, head in the water going, yay, I'm right side up as you're floating down the river, right? You want to be right side up, weight over the boat, ready to take your good strokes and be off and going where you want to go. So the next thing you're going to want to practice is after you do your brace, brace up, lean forward, take a couple hard strokes. Do that on both sides. Make sure that after you get your weight over the boat that you can pull off the paddle in such a way that you're over the boat again. It's key that you're in, in a forward posture ready to take your next stroke. The final thing we want to do for improving your brace is getting you to be able to brace with your paddle deeper in the water. Right now we know that if our paddle is on the surface of the water we can keep ourselves from tipping over. But what happens in those situations where you're taking a stroke and your paddle is already underwater and you lose your balance? Well for most people if you haven't practiced you're going to be over. So here's what we're going to do. Put your paddle blade about a foot under the water. Now see how the, the paddle is in the brace position? What I want you to do now is rotate your wrist in such a way that you can lift the paddle out of the water without dragging water with it. In other words, slice the paddle back up to the surface. Okay, try this a few times. Put the paddle on the water, cock the wrist up, slice it out. Do it again, slice it out. Now, slice it out, slap the water. Slice it out, slap the water. Do you see what we're getting at here? We're getting at 
being able to get your paddle from a deep position up to the surface quickly, in fact quick enough that you can slap the water and finish off with a brace. All right, here we go. Here's the big test. Put your paddle about a foot under the water, start falling. As soon as you lose your balance, slice it up, slap the water. Nice. Here's something for improving the roll. Just for those of you who are on the quick program, go ahead, put your paddle deep in the water, flip all the way in. Oops, you missed your brace. Slice up, hip snap up. Oh, that's pretty cool, huh? Basically what we've got is improving the roll coming up. That was just a little preview. Let's go to that now.